Where's it going? I mean, can you play the clip in 2012 and 13 when it was at 200 and everybody was laughing at me on CNBC every time I would talk about Bitcoin? Um, where is it going? It's probably going to 100, then 150, then 200,000. In what period? I don't know. Five years, 10 years, but it's going there. And the reason is because every time you see all of this stuff happening, it just reminds you that, wow, our leaders are not as trustworthy and reliable as they used to be. And so just in case. So here's, I want to talk about what he just said. He said our leaders are not as reliable as they used to be. So what a lot of people don't understand that Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies in general, the intention of what their the goal is, is for decentralization, ownership. It is for us, meaning the people, to have control of their money and not depend on a entity, a government, a company to dictate to us what we can do with our money. So this is, I'm saying this because a lot of people I, they talk about getting Bitcoin. They say they want to get Bitcoin on Robinhood or they want to get Bitcoin on PayPal. And if you do that, you don't understand you do not own that Bitcoin. In fact, if you're getting Bitcoin and you putting it on crypto.com or you're putting it on Coinbase or any of these other wallets that you don't have your keys, you do not own it. So it's nothing wrong with having your stuff there, but it's important that you understand what you're doing and that you understand what cryptocurrency is all about. If you want your money, sometimes your money is best with you, you know, but you have to make your own decision. So we really do need to have some kind of you know, insurance we can keep under our pillow that gives us some access to an uncorrelated hedge. And it's going to eventually transition to something much more important. But for right now, you're just getting all these data points that prove this thing. It's just... Now, he said it's going to transition to something much more important. My opinion, I'm starting to believe that more important thing may be something like XRP. Yes, I said it. Ripple. Yes, I said XRP and XLM. It's possible. And the only reason I say this is because if you common sense, if you look at the top 40 cryptocurrencies, go through all of them, go through. In fact, here, let's look at them really quick. If we look at these top 40 cryptocurrencies, which of these currencies really are in position to be a global currency? Not Bitcoin, because Bitcoin is slow, it's old technology, it's not scalable, it's very expensive, it's old, outdated technology. So that's best for digital gold. Ethereum, no, that moves slow, very high fees as well. They're having challenges right there with Ethereum in terms of a global currency. And the next one we have is what? XRP. Huh, this is the company that's working with multiple billionaires and they have a lot of relationship with central banks very scalable okay uh, and it moves very fast very low fees um litecoin litecoin is nothing but what a a um a clone copy of bitcoin that just moves a little bit faster for the most part they just copied and pasted the code uh cardano okay that's a different they're not really trying to be a primary currency that's more of an ecosystem to develop apps on you know so if we go through all of these the next one we got is uh stellar you know, that would be the next one. And I'm of the belief, again, this is just speculation, all right? Make your own decisions. But I'm of the belief that Stellar and XRP are potentially going to be two coins that are going to be stable coins. And one of them might even be a derivative. Um, and these are going to be coins that people, that are that the banks are going to be using for global uh, technologies and the foundation. Like the money that, that they actually uh, are going to use may not be XRP and Stellar, but I believe it's those networks that are going to be used to build whatever those coins are. So therefore, the value of XRP and Stellar may increase. It's just my opinion when they say that. So, you know, it's something to think about. Uh, but back to the uh, what we were just looking at. Let's go. See what else he's talking up about. Oh, no, that's talking about Elon Musk. That's another one I want to show you all in another video. Just the fabric of society is frayed and until we figure out how to make it better it's time to just have a little uh schmuck insurance on the side and everybody's running in it's just an incredible thing i could never have imagined it good to be a schmuck i guess if you got
if you got in early and it goes to where you think it's going to go. Uh, the other rocket I want to talk to you about. Now, let's be clear. Uh, first of all, this guy's a multi-billionaire investor. He's worked with Facebook. He has billions of dollars that he invests in different companies. Uh, these institutions, they're investing in Bitcoin. So if you are still at the point where you're like, I don't know if Bitcoin is a scam or not, it's something wrong with you. If you see the amount of money that's coming in, the, the, it just passed the $1 trillion mark. So uh, it's evident that it's not a scam, that, that, that legitimate money is definitely involved in it. The, but outside of that, he said, is it too late? You know, good luck for the people who got in early. It is of my opinion that Bitcoin still has a lot of room to grow. Um, it's a, if you look at the digital gold, which is what people call Bitcoin, Bitcoin still is only uh, at like six, seven hundred billion per coin inside of that market cap. I'm not per coin. I'm sorry. It's about six to seven hundred billion inside of the market cap of Bitcoin. Let's take a look at this really quick. So here it is. Bitcoin market cap is seven hundred and forty six billion. Gold has a market cap of 10 trillion. So if Bitcoin is digital gold, and let's say at least 5 trillion more dollars, half of what gold is goes into Bitcoin, then you're looking at almost another 5x multiple. So whatever the price is, you can multiply it by 5. So if it's 30,000 today, you know, or 40,000, 40 times 5 is at least 200,000, if not more. So I think uh, it's still early. And it's not too late to get involved with Bitcoin. And we'll talk more about that on the next videos, guys. So look, subscribe to the page. And I got some other videos that are coming out. So you don't want to miss these, guys. We're going to be really breaking down a lot of this technology and what's really going on that you need to know all about. Subscribe to the page. I'll